One time out of ten Two times won't you be mine We just can't pretend This love thing can take time Three times then I'm in I heard through the grapevine Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm about to go to a photo shoot and I need to get ready because they asked me to do my own makeup and my own hair. And this bathroom has a really good lighting so let's do it. And I just wanted to show you how my hair looks. This side turned out so good but this, it's kind of flat. Um, so I bought those like rollers from Amazon but last night I was like I have no idea how to use them. I've never used them in my life so I was like, you know what? I don't think it's a good time to experiment, so I just used the bathroom uh, trick. I don't know if you guys know about it, but anyways, it was also my first time doing that, you know, type of uh, curling, but it kind of turned out good, so I was like, you know, I'm not too upset. I think I'm going to try it again. It's just that the side looks a bit more flat, so I think I'm going to have to brush this out. But now I want to get my hair out of the way for a little bit, because I literally have maybe 25 minutes to get ready. And I really don't like to go to photo shoots where I have to do my own makeup. I mean, I kind of do, but I kind of don't at the same time because it puts the pressure on the model. But you know what I mean? It's also at the same time you know your face best. And I just wanted to say that it's like one of the last photo shoots I'm doing. I have um, one tomorrow and it's with the same client that I'm working with today. And they always ask me to do my own hair and makeup, which is like fine. I really love them. But girl got a job like how exciting is that <laughs> i can't talk too much about it yet um by the way this is my coffee like how big is this mug oh my gosh i showed it to you in my previous video um yeah so i'm starting a new job next week i'm so nervous like i'm not even joking that like i'm nervous because the other the other day yeah we were at the dinner and i literally felt like panic attack symptoms and if you follow me for a while you will know that in my previous job like a couple of years ago in my first week everything just kind of compiled so much that i ended up in the hospital and this is when i first kind of realized i have panic attacks but then for like two years i didn't have any because i figured out what was causing them and like how to control my mind and Anyways, long story short, I was fine for a couple of years and literally last week I felt some signs of panic attacks so I'm a bit nervous that my body's subconsciously stressed out about this, you know, new chapter again. But anyways, um, I hope I'll be fine. Um, I can't really talk about my job too much because I signed an NDA but it is for a big company so I'm excited about that. But I'll share of course more when I can and once I actually get into the job and see how things go. So the newest thing I'm trying is actually something that I've learned on TikTok, surprise, surprise, and that is not washing your face in the mornings because apparently it strips your face of all the oils, can cause acne, blah, blah, blah. And right now I just have this like hormonal thing going on because I just finished my period and like a tiny thing here, which is probably, I don't know from what, and a little redness here and here. But anyways, I'm going in with the my favorite Charlotte's um, Magic Cream. I put a little bit on my fingers and I just go straight for it. So I literally only washed my eye area this morning, which is insane to me. But we believe in people who say that this is work. So I'm just trying this for like three days now. I don't wash my face in the morning and I just go straight for all my skincare. But we're going to keep it very simple because I don't know if we're shooting outside or not. So I don't want to put on too much product and then let it just all melt. Then I'm using Charlotte's eye serum. I absolutely love this thing. It's so nice and cooling. And as you can see, I have some puffy bags. And for the sunscreen, I'm just using my Vichy um, SPF and going in okay with quite a bit of it. <laughs> and SPF is super important in Dubai. So yeah. by the way, what this does is actually, it like makes your skin kind of not produce so much oil and just keep it all hydrated if that makes sense because we don't need to wash our face every eight hours with like harsh chemicals if that makes sense and i love how that lady's skin looks she said like there's like no fine lines no nothing so i was like okay i'm gonna try it <laughs> and see how it goes and yesterday i was at the mall and basically i was so gullible i hate myself sometimes i swear this lady was like oh i love your skirt as i'm walking and i'm really like I don't want to say rude, but like I just really mind my business when I'm in the mall. I don't want to be approached as in by like retailers because they're like, you know, oh, try this, try that, try this, try that. And I'm like, mm-mm. And yesterday, this lady was like, oh, I love your skirt. And I was like, 
Oh, thank you. It's like, okay, like, I kind of thought 50 50, like, okay, this is gonna go either that route or she just really wants to compliment me. And she ended up going that route where she was like, oh, let me show you something. And I was like, oh, shit. And I never know how to get out of these situations, so I was very annoyed. Anyways, long story short, she wanted to sell me like this $300 um, serum, and I was like, mm -mm, girl, she's like, look, your your lines here and your eyes and this, and you need to like do this, and I was like, bye, bye, thank you so much. So, <laughs> anyways, I wanted to show you some stuff that I got yesterday in the mall. I was actually shopping for uh, clothes for work because I'm gonna be working in like office, so I don't really have those clothes anymore. Like, I have some formal wear, but I don't have enough. I feel. And I personally prefer, prefer to wear a uniform. I know that sounds lame, but like I just don't like the headache of thinking every day what to wear. But while shopping for clothes, you know, your girl went <laughs> to Sephora, to Charlotte Tilbury. And yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. And I wasn't going to try this morning because I'm obviously a bit tight on time. It's already eight. I have to leave in like 20 minutes. So hopefully we can do this very quickly. Um, but anyways, I will try a few products that I got yesterday. I got the Rare Beauty um, foundation, which is going viral on TikTok. Then I got the um, Liquid Blush, which is also super cute. So this was pretty hard to find, like the blush, because it's being sold out everywhere now. I also got my hands on the Fenty Beauty Zesty Bestie Lip Tint and Lip Tint, Lip Tint, sorry. <laughs> But I don't know if this shade is actually the best one I got and I hate myself for rushing into buying it, but it's literally the last piece. I've checked two Sephora's yesterday, like it's insane. I don't know if I should have rushed my, myself into buying this. I should have probably waited for a restock, which I don't know what's gonna happen. But I just needed like retail therapy to calm my nerves before the new job, so please don't judge me. And I also got the super viral <laughs> Dior lip glow and um, I think I'm gonna put this on today. So even though I did say it's best not to maybe experiment with makeup today, but I really want to try the Rare Beauty makeup. So they match me with this foundation because as you can see, I'm very pink in this area, as you guys know, but my body, like, okay, you cannot really tell, but I'm like tan, so I need to match the rest of my body. We're going to try um, what Selena did. I have no idea how much I need to put it, but I hope it is full coverage and I hope it works. Okay, I think that's enough maybe, I don't know. Um, I already have my beauty blender ready, so let's just go for it. Okay, it is a bit on the warmer side, but, but I hope it's gonna be fine because I am shooting and at the end of the day, cameras really take away a lot of the makeup, so I'm not too mad about it. I wanted to take you basically shopping with me yesterday like what i'm buying and stuff but at the same time like it's so loud in the mall there's always music and i was like i can't really concentrate on shopping if i'm vlogging if that makes sense so yeah i decided to do a little chit chat get ready with me instead this morning by the way if you do try this year or you've been trying this year washing your face once a day let me know i'm really curious how many of you know about this thing and what are your thoughts about it okay so i do like this foundation wow it look look we're not mad about this. This is beautiful. And I love that it's so lightweight. So, okay, let's see how it works throughout the day. Um, I'm going to go in with my J-Cat concealer. I don't know. It's like super bright. But we need that this morning. I couldn't really sleep, obviously, because like, I know I have to wake up. So I'm just like, oh, no. My body doesn't really relax at night when I know I have to wake up early in the morning. <laughs> it's crazy. It's always like that. Sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place, but nothing new here, I suppose. I just wanted to ask you, yesterday while I was in Sephora, I saw the Tatcha cream. I don't know what it's called exactly, but I know it's also very popular. It is like 300 dirhams, which is like 70 something dollars, I think. And I was like, girl, why is it so expensive? Like, I really want to try it. And it does seem amazing, but like, is it really worth it? Can somebody write down below if you've tried it? Because I definitely want to try it. And I don't know if it's just worth the money. Okay, we're going in with the nude sticks. Um, contouring stick in terracotta tan. 
Uh, your girl wants to be tan, but she's also already hot in this dress because it's very thick. I've worn this like probably a year ago. I haven't touched it for such a long time. But today I felt like wearing it because um, it's easy to just, you know, unbutton it and I'm ready to shoot in any outfit that they might give me. So yeah, it's crazy to think that this is like the last photo shoots I'll be doing basically in a long time. I mean, I can shoot on weekends, but most clients, they work like normal times, which means during the week. So this is gonna be a new change for me, giving up this photo shoot life, but I'm not mad about it. I'm excited for new challenges and just a new career change for me. <laughs> so. Let's see. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not wearing like any jewelry because obviously for the shoot I cannot wear anything. I like, I feel so naked. I feel like that Lila cream would have looked so good that I showed you in my previous video. Was it previous video? I believe so. So next I'm gonna go in with pop, uh, Nude Sticks Poppy Girl. Yeah, correct. And I do this little trick. I think I've shown this to you before. Um, just kind of emphasizing my cheekbones, going a little bit higher not like in the middle of the cheek and i think i'm gonna have to take my makeup back because i honestly feel like i'm already gonna melt today i just i just know <laughs> and yesterday i got the um mac sorry it's upside down i got the mac cheeky beaky cheeky beaky no cheeky bits <laughs> cheeky beaky cheeky bits um What's it called? Blush? Sorry, I can't speak English. I'm obviously not awake yet. Um, so yeah, I got that shade because um, I saw it on a few of my friends. It looks amazing. So I know it kind of looks similar to NARS, I think, Orgasm. And I am so excited to finally have it in my connection. It has a bit of like shimmer and I love the coral shade. And I feel like it really works. Okay, maybe not quite because it's brand new, but I know... I swatched it and it looks really good and oh my gosh I literally have to leave in 10 minutes also look at my nails I literally painted them myself yesterday because this brand reached out to me recently and they're like oh we want to send you like the nail lamp and like the nail gels do you want to try and I said of course you know I was kind of hesitant initially because like I don't really like doing nails like that's not my hobby like I know some girls enjoy doing that but for me it's just I don't know, I don't like it. After some thinking, I was like, okay, you know what? I spent so much money like when doing my nails. I think if I get a manicure and pedicure, it's like 80 euros or something. So, you know, it's quite a bit of money if you think about it, if you add it up in total in a year. Um, so I might still be going, you know, for pedicures and whatnot, but I just really thought, you know, the hands, like the, the hand nails grow so fast. So maybe I should just try doing them at home. My friend Urta does hers at home. And they're sending me the lamp for free, so I'm excited to just try it. But the problem is, they sent it to me like two weeks ago and it's still like on the way, so it's taking forever. And if I knew it, then I would have gotten like a proper manicure for today. Because um, I had to remove my gel and this is like the first time I'm seeing my own nail in like, I don't know, <laughs> two years probably or even longer, I don't know. I always used to get like gel manicures, so it's very strange to not have it. And obviously I had to cut them super short because they're all like breaking after removing the gel. But yeah, let me know. So I think I'm gonna do like a little sit down video and just kind of try it out with you guys and see how my manicure turns out if I do it at home. I also kind of want to do maybe a mukbang, maybe just update you later how things go with my new job. Let me know if you'd be interested in watching one because I think it's been a long time since my previous mukbang. And you know when we girl likes to eat, so yeah. Sorry, I just used my, you know, good old OG palette from NARS. Um, speaking of food, I saw something super crazy on TikTok, which is like ube butter or something. It's like a Filipino butter and it's like a yam. I think it comes from a yam, if I'm not mistaken. And you eat it with like mango and stuff. It looks super cool. I'll insert a picture. It's purple. It looks amazing. So anyways, I want to try that. Oh shit, I wanted to try the contouring wand that I bought yesterday. Oops. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not awake. Should I add some more? Mm, no. Okay, next time. We'll try this next time because I want to get the peach gasm 
uh, blush because I've heard it's amazing, but it was sold out yesterday. I tried, I checked two stores. They said it will be restocked this week, so I'm gonna get my hands on that. So, okay, we'll try this contouring one next uh, week or next time. And let's go in with this beautiful um, Pillow Talk eyeliner brush. I really wanted this for ages. Oh my gosh, why can I open it? Oh my gosh, I just broke it. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Anyways, let's ignore that. So, this morning is going great, I can tell already. Oh, that's a pretty color. And apparently there's also like a mascara in this shade, so I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a burgundy color. And obviously my makeup looks shit this morning because I'm talking to you, but I don't mind, like it's fine. I'm okay with that, it's just... You know, it has to be basic, they said anyway, so I'm just doing a very basic makeup. I'm doing my best, considering I didn't sleep so well. Also, I shared this on Instagram, but I had a bit of a FOMO that I couldn't go this year to Europe. Like, I mean, it's not that I couldn't go, but I was just like looking for a job and stuff. And obviously, you know, I'm not maybe financially in a position to be prioritizing holidays, if that makes sense. So I was like, you know what, I'll just first get a job and then I'll go maybe some time later because like my dad is turning 60 this year so I definitely want to go and see him at some point maybe not exactly on his birthday but I'll see anyways and speaking of my dad he actually ended up breaking his arm at work I don't know if I've ever mentioned this but he's a handyman and you know his work is very like you know hands on and he was like on a ladder and he fell off at work so that's been stressful because like, I don't know, you know, older, I'm not, I don't want to see he's old, but like, you know, older people generally don't heal as well. So I'm just a bit worried that his arm might have some complications in the long run. So I'm just hoping he's going to be okay. And oh my gosh, I'm getting sticky already. So I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighter. My OG Jouer highlighter. I absolutely love this thing. I'm literally sweating so I'm just gonna go in with some powder because I feel like this makeup is just gonna melt away very quickly So I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics lip pencil. I have no idea what color it is because it's rubbed off But it's really really good Also, I didn't realize how expensive cars are like my car just reached 100,000 kilometers And I mean I just bought it like six months ago, so I knew that it had a high mileage So I had to do like a major service and oh my word like i had to pay i don't know like a thousand euros just for like the service and they like had to check everything and i was like whoa and i mean they didn't rip me off because i did it at the showroom where i bought the car so like it wasn't you know like you lied or something like that but it was a proper you know place because uh, there's a lot of dodgy places there's a lot in dubai i don't even want to think of those places because it probably would have cost me double um okay guys i think i'm ready like i'm not gonna do much more um i really want to try the lip glue oil thing where is it okay guys so i'm so sorry i know i showed these to you at the beginning of the video they were beauty blush and the uh, contouring one but we're gonna have to try this in the end of the video because my mind was all over the place this morning and i didn't get to try them but i promise you i will and I'll, i will show you how it works or how it looks so i'm just gonna quickly put on some armani yulon perfume it's like my everyday perfume and I don't know, I felt like I really loved it when I bought it, but now it's just kind of meh. I don't know why it happens to me a lot with these perfumes. And anyways, this is the lip glue oil from Dior. So overpriced, but let's see what's the hype about. I love how I complain like, oh yeah, holiday's not a priority and then I end up spending so much on my makeup. But anyways, let's ignore that. Okay, so I got the color Cherry. Um... So it adds a little bit of pinkish tone, which is cute. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Okay, it does feel very good. Okay, I do like it. I think it's so pretty. So I'm gonna quickly tidy up and then I'm gonna continue the vlog in the car. And yeah, talk to you soon. This is just 
to buy downtown and right now I'm pulling into the D3 aka Dubai Design District which is a very cool and vibey area lots of offices PR agencies um, kind of just like lots of cool people basically cafes and whatnot so this is where I'm working today Wow, okay, it looks way more full than I anticipated. I'm literally waiting to get into the parking. Like there's three cars in front of me and it's like the biggest parking lot ever. So if I don't find a parking spot, I'm gonna be so upset, girl. Like literally, what on earth? Okay, there's some, okay, okay. False alarm, false alarm, we found a parking. Okay, so I have arrived, I have about 10 minutes and we can still chit chat a little bit. I honestly cannot get used to this look this barbie look i just don't know curly hair is just mm -mm. it's not something i love i like a good blowout but curly hair i mean okay this does not count as curly hair probably it looks like a bird's nest most likely but that's the best i can do i hate curling irons i'm so scared i'm like literally terrified of burning myself with them even if i have a glove so i thought i'll try you know this bathrobe trick and i think it's okay i mean if they don't like it they can do something about it uh, but i think it should be all right so anyways i just wanted to quickly touch up on a few things um maybe i'll take you along on the shoot a little bit i don't know but basically today i was supposed to have a staycation this pr agency invited me to stay at emirates towers and I don't know if you know Emirates Towers. I don't think I've actually been myself there. Like, I think I've only been once in the lobby, but I don't think I've ever actually seen inside the Emirates Towers. I don't know. So they invited me for a staycation, and I was like, I'd love to, but they only got back to me so last minute, and I got booked up for two days now for the shoot, and I'm like, I don't think it makes sense for me to go to a staycation after working the whole day, because, like, I still have to make content, and it's probably going to be, like, evening, and I'm going to be tired after the shoot, and the next morning I have to go again to the shoot, so I was like... I just postpone this oh my gosh i just can't i need to stop looking at the viewfinder i just don't like how i look today because of the hair no it doesn't look like a 28 year old girl it looks more like she's 36 and her kids are in school kind of vibe you know <laughs> doesn't suit me i feel so yeah yesterday instead of packing for the staycation and thinking what i'm gonna wear and what pictures i'm gonna take uh we just ended up having some hot dogs and i got burned with freaking sausage i was so hungry i was like shopping the whole day and i came back around 7 p.m Olive tree. I don't know if you can see. No, you probably cannot see. But the tip of my tongue hurts because of the hot sausages. It's like it burned my tongue. I'm a sensitive girl. Even in this coffee, which is I can't believe still how big it is. Um, there's like five ice cubes. I'm. Uh, I don't know. I just don't. I can't do hot food. Like super hot food. I cannot do hot drinks. I'm just very sensitive because I sweat easily. My tongue gets burned. Like I'm one of those annoying people in the group, I guess. And speaking of coffee, like this is extremely TMI. And I was like debating. I was like, should I bring this up? Should I not bring this up? But you guys, like I had this yesterday and I have not been to the toilet. Like this does not make me go to the toilet. I don't understand what's going on because like you know some people they just have a sip of coffee or they have a sip of i mean a bite of food and they're like okay i gotta go office is calling um no like if i'm stressed if i'm anxious your girl is gonna get mm -mm, like she doesn't go to the toilet like it's insane you would think this amount of coffee would work but it doesn't it's all in my head like it's so bad i think that's why i always had like a little pooch because like if i'm stressed i can't go to the washroom and i know it's a very tmi topic to talk about like bowel movements on youtube but like i just want to be honest and real like if you are someone who can relate to me like i'm i mean i'd feel like a lot better because like i'm jealous of people who just literally have a bite or a sip of something and they just like okay toilet you know i'm like no it doesn't work like that you need to be relaxed zen out and then i can do my business you know what i'm saying and even the other day i feel like i'm still so mature in some ways like even though i am 28 but i was just thinking you know we were having a conversation about kids and like we were five people just talking having some some drinks and i was a bit tipsy at that point i'm not gonna lie and i was just like giggling when somebody said oh first comes the you know number two and then comes the baby and i was like ah, like I don't know why I burst out laughing because it definitely shows that I'm not ready for kids, which I don't think I am yet, which is fine. But 
it just comes across like a bit childish I don't want to like giggle at stupid situations like that but anyways to my defense I was tipsy as I said so okay I don't know why I'm ending this conversation on a poop talk let's end it on something more fun um, I hope you enjoyed this very random get ready with me video I'm gonna have to go now I'm gonna show you the office where I'm shooting today it's really nice very girly and let's go Love you down. This is what I'm wearing today. I matched it with my new Golden Goose sneakers. I don't know if you know them, but they're like this kind of dirty sneaker trend thing. It's been here for like probably 10 years now, I don't know. Anyways, I just joined the trend <laughs> and I love them. By the way, look at the weather. It's been like this for the last few days. Super gloomy, cloudy, windy, rainy, but at the same time plus 30 so degrees. It's crazy. Okay, so today we are thrinning. I made up that word. Anna <laughs> and Brenda, say hi. So look, they are actually on the backdrops here. It's so crazy. They said last month you shot these pictures, right? Something like that. And also here, beautiful Brenda. So we're gonna be together for two days. And they said we're shooting absolutely same outfits just three different sizes and yeah it's gonna be very econ vibes very basic type of left right straight type of pictures all the shoes this is the first look the coops and the sunnies bag i also love these shoes I'm not sure what they're called but I know they're super trendy now, so very nice. Such a cool office, and this is where we're shooting. We have two backdrops. Hello. <laughs> so this is the video station, and this is the picture station. So we're halfway through the day, got some coffee, a little break, and we're ready to start shooting again. How are you doing, Anna? <laughs> yeah, the hot coffee is definitely helping. This is like, look, I don't know, 15 maybe? So we're all wearing the same, just different accessories, different shoes and stuff like that which is really nice okay random question what's your favorite part about being a stylist <laughs> don't put me on the spot <laughs> you want it you want it uh dressing the all the different body shapes sizes and making all women look fabulous that's it that's a golden answer <laughs> awesome that's what we're doing um, today we're having a lot of fun how long have you been with wearing that uh, I'm very new here. I've only been here for this is my third month. Okay, yeah. but I feel I've definitely seen you before. Yeah, we shoot yeah. nearly every week. Yes, so we've done a few shoots together now, so including yeah. a catwalk show. So if you guys ever need styling tips or help, wear that. Now is the best team I can recommend in Dubai. Honestly, I'm just observing all the things that the ladies are doing, and it's just amazing to see how an outfit comes together. Best. <laughs> little butterfly moment so pretty I love this top but I think we're gonna change the earrings it's kind of giving the emoji butterfly vibes <laughs> if that makes sense so this is the accessories for this top pretty cool I was saying to Rachel how I'd never be able to sell this at home so I have so much respect for people who have good sense of style and can put an outfit together because to me it's so hard like I never know what to do or how to accessorize 
one dress, three looks. I think Brenda's is the most. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I'm very uh, here to steal your husband <laughs> kind of vibes. <laughs> Super, yes, like that. You know what I mean? This <laughs> reminds me of every single episode. Back after lunch break, and now we're gonna shoot this look. Definitely feeling the tiredness now, especially after the food. Some Getting definitely tired now, but we'll push through. Accessories. I think it was so cool. Um, I definitely need to get some orange stuff to style my green blazer like that because I think it really complements each other. So, on a scale from one to ten, how tired are you? <laughs> Eleven hundred, dude. <laughs> Six, yes. Another day to go tomorrow. Brenda, how are you keeping? Good. She's still posing. Good. I know. <laughs> And then you're off to holiday. Hey. <laughs> Ten more minutes. Well, maybe twenty. By the way, this is how the foundation looks after like ten hours. It's starting to get a little patchy, or maybe I just applied it like that. Bit of grease in us here, but that's okay. I quite like it. Guys, what a long day! I'm so tired! It is 17.17, make a wish. Um, anyways, I'm about to head home and probably edit this vlog and hopefully upload it as well today and I'm gonna repeat the same thing tomorrow except I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow is just gonna be purely focused on work and it's gonna be literally my last photo shoot I think in a long time to come. So I'm gonna try to make the most of it and oh my word, I'm like sticking, my hair is sticking, I'm dewy when I wash all of this off. But yeah, Rare Beauty, hello. I love what you did there with this foundation. It's not sponsored, I bought it, like I said, in Dubai Mall. Um, but I can see why a lot of people rave about it on TikTok. And yeah, this video went in all kinds of directions today clearly so I hope you enjoyed and if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already uh, I really appreciate that and that shows to me that you enjoy my content and yeah that means a lot to me I'm just like stuck um, at the red traffic light and I'm thinking like so many people don't understand that modeling is actually like a proper job they think oh yeah it's just posing but actually like the hours are long and you have to do a lot of like outfit changes and stuff so I feel knackered like I'm driving and I'm like oh my word I'm exhausted like properly so please respect people that do modeling and don't assume that they're just having it easy because they're definitely not just some words that I wanted to finish with <laughs> 
All right, bye.